let's take a look at the other thing we have to do here and that's pull out this LED I already popped the engine bell off thinking that would make things easier this aluminum tube is definitely fast and this LED is definitely no oh, definitely not all that well glued in so why don't you like to work let's power this back up again So I'm thinking this is probably just a bad connection, whether it's a bad connection at this power port. You know, at this point I'm thinking this LED just had a uh, little bit of a poor connection. It's certainly acting solid now. No matter how I tug on it, it's still working good. Try and bend the connections here. Those seem to be stable. not a model unless you bleed so there's my signature one thing I didn't like about these engines that I did is that this tube is sticking out much further into the engine bell than those are and it gives it a different lighting characteristic than the rest of it so what I think I'm gonna do you can call me crazy is try and dremel that out this cutting wheel here is just tight enough to potentially do damage but just small enough to potentially fit in properly. That's literally all that's needed. Just the slightest bit of a shave. Try and clean this gunk off the corners there. No, that's not going to do it. Let's see how much better the fit is now. Dash more. Actually, Much better. There's really a. Uh... Oh, there we go. So now the lighting is relatively even coming out of there. 
One thing I noticed watching Empire recently was that these four little guys here don't light up unless it goes into hyperdrive. I'm not going to change that now, but it's something I'll keep in mind when I do my anagrand. I'll put those on a different circuit. All that means is that this ship is in hyperdrive right now when you see it. So a little touch up paint there to do. You can probably see I did just a little bit of damage right in there. No trouble at all. This LED seems to be happy again. Let's give that a dash of glue. So that it doesn't go wandering around. Dabble do ya. Alright, so we'll let that sit. Put the Dremel away. Back to our power solution situation thing that's going on. Let me... 